dangerous to begin with, and it needed to get covered sooner rather than later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, people have no idea what the hell we were just talking yeah. about. Uh, <laughs> I got a groovy looking little hand, but I'm not going to show it to you. No, no. So the sun's like right in our eyes. So right now we look like try to be trying to be mysterious, but failing miserably at it. Yep. Uh, but anywho, so uh, Ice Age. Um, was, I, I think of like three different openings I had to this video. The first was telling the fun text conversation I had with you to get you here, yep. <laughs> which is kind of a losing battle in of itself. Uh, because uh, you, I said yes. Put a message on the Facebook group yesterday. He's like, "Hey, is anybody free tomorrow?" I was like, "I am." It's like uh, then you text me later. It's like, "What movie are you thinking of?" Well, <laughs> I thought it was gonna be Lights Out. <laughs> Honestly, I thought this one would get more views. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I've avoided these movies for a good while after the second one, I think. Yeah. Yeah, but like, I, then I just got like a, well, you're not going to like it, but if you do, I'll buy your next ticket. goes, what is it? Ice Age? And then you give me this, a response that basically summed up to, nope. <laughs> and I'm going to like, oh, I'll, I'll buy you dinner. And it's like. Fine. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> all right, I might be meeting someone, and if they don't respond, then I'll do it. And then they didn't respond. I was like, shit. <laughs> God uh, damn it. So, so Ice Age Collision Course. Oddly enough, this only the second worst uh, polar-based anime movie I've seen this year. Also with random dancing and song numbers. But this one had the added disappointment of having Simon Pegg. <laughs> And he, here's the kicker. This movie has like a weird connection with the past two movies we've seen together in theaters because Adam Devine's also in this movie. Okay, who's so which one was Adam Devine? Uh, he was Mike and Mike and Dave need wedding dates. No, as in, oh, duh. I, well, I mean, in this. Uh, he was uh, the boyfriend, like the fiance. Okay. Oh. Yeah, you can hear it now, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> I found that I was like, oh. <laughs> right after I saw Simon Pegg playing one of the characters, I was like, ah, oh, fuck. That's why I kept leaning over to you and have like turning the movies like, thank God Star Trek 3 just came out this yeah. weekend. I was just like, there's going to be a point where we just say, nope, you lost faith in Simon Pegg. <laughs> I still have I, yeah, I believe I in Simon Pegg. But... No, I know. Oh, God. I mean, like, the sc I still kind of like the scrap parts because I feel like that's when at least slapstick is kind of funny. I use the term loosely, but at least yeah. at least there's no fucking dialogue. Yeah. <laughs> like I compared to the rest of the yeah. this hour, and a, a long hour and a half movie. That being said, though, I still wish the whole scrap thing was just a solo part. No, that's what I was saying. Like this would have been fine as like a twenty minute short. Well, no, it was fine as the five minute short that we saw in theaters before we realized, oh no, that's going to be part of an actual longer movie. Yeah, I'm sure, I, I like the I like that short because it just implies everybody dies. <laughs> I thought that was a great way to sum up the Ice Age <laughs> franchise. Uh, because we don't have this long convoluted way to stop the asteroid, which doesn't really make any logical sense. But again, it's a kid's movie, so who fucking yeah. cares? Uh, yeah, at that point, she's like, you know what? I'm fuck it. Question, man. Fuck it. Even though you got like Neil deGrasse Tyson in there too, it's like you think I'm not gonna be too harsh on that particular fact. But I just do want to say Neil uh, Tyson, it's okay to say no to a project every now and again because this is like the fifth thing I've seen him this year. Like between this and like uh, fucking Zoolander. Was, Zoolander. <laughs> thank you. I almost said Zootopia. I was like, oh no 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 no. Oh, that would be great. I like that movie. Uh, <laughs> Uh, no, Zoolander too. Uh, like, there was another one before that. I just can't remember what the hell it was. Oh, I don't even know anymore. He'll say yes to anything. He's in Gravity Falls. He has a good cameo in there. Ha! <laughs> oh yeah, he told me about that one. Uh, did I tell you about that? I don't think I told you about that one. You told me about it. I, I don't remember what the hell it was. I just remember I laughed pretty hard when you told me what the hell it was. <laughs> no, no, I, I told you about a few funny moments of the show. I didn't tell you the Neil deGrasse Tyson cameo. Hmm. So I thought you did. Nope. It might have been someone else then. Maybe. No, no it wasn't me. Uh, but anywho, so I don't even know what to fucking say. It's it's a dumb, shitty kids movie. Our audience liked it, so I guess it's pleasing some demographic. Uh, oh, I kind of got mad because people were applauding in the end. It's like, no, <laughs> no, bad audience. Bad. It's it's. I mean, it wasn't as infuriating when I saw the heat the first year we did this because everyone was laughing their ass off with just me and Chris like. <laughs> <laughs> looking, like, 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 looking like the Walter puppet. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> or like when we saw Mike and Dave need wedding dates earlier. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, so what, why are you laughing at this? This isn't funny. 
Nothing's happening. They're just making sounds and doing stupid and shit. Being dicks to each other. <laughs> yeah, that too. Although, like, uh, I, I don't know. I feel like they get a lot of voice casts because they're not doing anything for a weekend. <laughs> Especially, like, Ray Romano. I like Ray Romano, but God damn it, he will do anything. Yeah. Uh, if you, he did get one of the couple, like, one of the two laughs in this thing, though. Yeah, uh, I, I'll admit, I've I kind of been in that same position he has, so I kind of laughed at that part, too. <laughs> Where he just goes crazy about trying it's, to get the daughter from leaving. Yeah, just like, we can break them up so that we can be our little girl forever! <laughs> <laughs> I added the voice. Uh, uh, and the other part just being the part of the trailer with uh, the uh, birds like, Oh, we're not going to be destroyed. <laughs> that was a lucky shot. <laughs> I feel like there's one other laugh before then, that, uh, like very early on. No, it was, it was the psycho father thing. No, there was one point before that I remember. I don't remember what the joke was, but I know, remember you laughed at it. Oh, I remember what it was now. It's when, uh, fuck, uh, what the hell is the guy, actor plays the, uh, tiger? Oh, oh, yes! <laughs> I remember now, Dennis, uh, Dennis, Dennis Leary. Leary. Dennis Leary. I was, I, I want to say Kevin for some reason. It's like, no, I know it's not right. Yeah. Uh, but Dennis, no, Dennis Leary is with his woman, I guess. And, uh, why is my phone buzzing right now? It is not important. Yeah. Anyway, uh,. And like, so it's like, like, why don't kids like us? And all of a sudden, like, they're eating berries, so they have, like, like looks like blood in their mouth. And the kids, like, in the distance, see, like, two just glowing eyes and blood, blood in their mouth. It's like, yes. okay, that was one. And, and they just go, hi, kid! Ah! <laughs> I was like, okay, that was I even smiled that time. Uh, but, <laughs> so, like, the two funny jokes in the movie was places just a lot of just shit happening, people bouncing off the goddamn walls, literally in most cases. Just a lot of dumb physical humor that doesn't work because no one really, they're, no one really acts like they're in a lot of pain in this. Yeah. Uh, and if they do, they bounce back pretty fast. There's a lot of things, that, of course, that don't make sense, but at the same time, it's also a fucking Ice Age movie. Yep. So I'm not too harsh on that fact. Um, I just know I brought some help with me in this particular review. You're welcome. Uh, well, I wasn't talking about you, but I, I appreciate you coming with me, though. Cause I oh, that little helper. <laughs> well, I, I'm not going to lie. I mostly just brought this just to see what reaction I can get out of you. <laughs> but you actually needed it. Well, at one point, I was like, fuck it. <laughs> but there are kids around me, so I didn't want, like, for those are when I, I got my new uh, Hellboy flask I got from Comic-Con. <laughs> yeah. So. I don't remember. It was just like... You bastard, you tricked me. I thought we'd suffer sober together. <laughs> I was like, nope, chug, chug. Uh, which I don't think you believe me. There was actually liquor in here. Until no, I, <laughs> no, I believed you. <laughs> I, I said until I opened it, then you smelled it. Uh, yeah, no, I no, I knew you'd have liquor. I just didn't know which kind. It was like, oh. Uh, scotch, dude. Scotch is good stuff. Oh, Jesus, no wonder. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, uh, you, oh, that's right. You don't drink. That's uh, right. That's why I said you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, man, with all movies, I do suffer sober. Yeah. I'm allowed a break every now and again. Yeah. <laughs> Granted, this is only like I only had like a swig. That's like because I like stepped out for a couple minutes. I was like, "Fuck <laughs> it, I need something, god damn it, to numb the pain." All I had was free popcorn. Well, you did it. It comfort food. Not really. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, well, that's because you didn't have any butter. Oh god, I can't. I cannot have butter on popcorn. Really? It's it makes it too soggy and greasy. I just don't like it. Ah, uh, fair enough. All right. You're wrong, but fair enough. I'm kidding. Oh God, no! I just had one of those weird, like, sense those sensory things. Where, like, I can actually just smell it. Like, Ugh. what? Like, I just for a moment just like had a remembrance of like the scent of butter on popcorn. Just, oh, okay. Oh God, it's like not leaving my nose now. <laughs> okay, uh, one of the weirder reactions you've had to something. This, oh, it, yeah. I mean, it's uh, it just one. What was that joke they had like three quarters of the way through? Is that felt like it visibly punched you? Um. Oh God! It was some stupid pun. There was a lot of those. I'm trying to remember which one it was. Uh, oh, now I remember. It's like uh, it's like it was something involving the stump. Oh, uh, it's kind of like uh, like for some reason, like one of the characters Buck played by Simon Pegg. I, I know he's in the third movie. I never saw it, but I know he's in there. Uh has a very long, son annoying son and dance number. I'm just kind of like, oh, please, fucking end. I have just. No, just stop. Yeah. Uh, but basically, there was like he seemed talking to this thing after like he's trying to explain like how to divert the. Uh, yeah, he finds some like magical tablet that that basically explains how the future is gonna happen, how Aaron's gonna die from uh, a meteor after Scrat antics. Uh, oh, I wish it went the shorter route. <laughs> all right, uh, but anyway, 
So then he comes up there and he's, it's, for some reason, starts talking to a stump for no reason. Yep. And he goes, like, the, as if the stump's talking to him first. And he goes, well, how am I supposed to explain to him? The whole planet's all doomed. Oh, he's stumped. And, like, it pauses for laughter. And I like, just like, oh, you're cocky, you fucking bastard. And you were so <laughs> confident that I was going to get a laugh. And I hear from you, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> And then I started laughing, and then you got your revenge like towards the very end when I was like, ah, "That's not the worst thing I've seen this year." And then you went, "Dirty Grandpa," and I had repre successfully repressed the memories of Dirty Grandpa <laughs> and Robert De Niro's penis until you brought that back. And then all of a sudden, like it hit me like a tidal wave, where it started like, like, "Oh God," and then it's like morphed like. Oh God! And then I thought of Robert De Niro's penis again. I was like, ah! No, it looked like that reaction when we told her the story about the Ghostbuster. <laughs> this was worse. This felt worse to no, me. I know, but it's like it was that same look. It's like because <laughs> I was like that was just a, like a Vietnam flashback to my mind. As a, I can almost say like, like you know, I see those uh, things where like they zoom into somebody's face and you're like the war machine going off in yeah. the background. <laughs> I heard. I just all I can hear is just Robert De Niro you saying the N word and I'm like wow. Oh, fuck. It's like it's this is just one of those stupid fucking kids movies. I'd, I'd rather, literally rather talk about anything yeah. else. It was kind of like Ra the Ratchet and Clank movie. The, I don't know. Is this what do you, do you think? This is worse than the Ratchet and Clank movie? No. Yeah, Ratchet and Clank I, was I worse. feel like Ratchet and Clank was way worse. Because like this, you know, well for one, this had better voice acting and way better animation. It's surprisingly good cast. Yeah. Like way better than it has any right to have. Yeah. Like even I, oh by the way, it turns out the girls I was wrong. The girls slots is played by Julie J, which who I guess is a singer. Because the only in the sloth? No, like the female sloth, yeah. Okay. Hippie sloth. Yeah. Uh, played by Julie J, who I, I guess is a musician, because the only other credit to her movie career is like Grease Live. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, so that's that mystery solved. I don't know, guys. This is probably going to be one of the shorter reviews, because like, I don't have a whole lot to say about this movie, other than the it's fact that just it's bland. bland. Yeah, bland. It's boring. It's stupid. I guess it's fast enough moving to entertain the kids because they got a laugh out of it. Lots of laughs, more than we were laughing. I'm and, still mad that a bunch of teenagers applauded at the end. No, they're teenagers. Teenagers have shitty taste. Yeah. I mean, admit it. You liked some stupid shit when you were a teenager. I liked Wild Wild West. Yeah, but we didn't applaud it. I'm... <laughs> You're still a dumb teenager. <laughs> yeah. It, it, okay, I'm kind of curious. What dumb shit do you like when you were a teenager? I don't know. I repressed my childhood. Oh, come on. There's got to be one. We all have that one. No, like I seriously blocked out most of my childhood. I can't remember anything. How'd you pull that off? Blows to the head. That explains that scar in your fucking hand. Yep. <laughs> Look at this. No, I'm not going to do it. Okay, now, now you're just hyping them up for no reason. Now you got to do it. Uh... Eh, it's not bloody enough. Oh, we can fix that. Let me see if I get some Please sharp toast. objects in here. <laughs> Just hand still. <laughs> uh, no, cut around the meat! <laughs> Uh, God, I always like it feels like just a lot of wasted talent. I mean, I like like you said, at least Simon Pegg sounds like he's having a little bit of fun. And the animators had fun with him as well. Yeah, and, and it, but then you have like Ron Swanson, who you can basically almost hear him yeah. over the uh, thing, like yeah. where I'm doing this for the paycheck. It's yeah, like, where it's like the completely unnecessary villain. Yeah, where it's like, okay, he is clearly trying, not, but he's not trying to try. I really prefer him going back to trying not to try. Yeah, because that's what he's good at. He's good at like stoic, dry humor. That's his yeah. shtick. Uh, we ask him to do more than that. He's 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 still Nick Offerman, so I'm I'm willing to give him some slack, but it's disappointing. Indeed. Uh, I don't know. It also gave me some kind of bad flashbacks of the good dinosaur. Which I still think was I still don't think was that bad of a movie. No, it was a decent movie. Yeah, but at the same time, like, the, yeah, again, the villain was the weak part. Uh, although a lot of people hate the good dinosaur, which I I can understand. Yeah, I don't sound agree with it, but I understand. Uh, like, it's not. It's the thing is just as you said. It's like it's not. For me, that was a movie that was kind of like on par with Brave, where it's like you know. It I, thought was, I thought it was a little worse than Brave. I thought Brave was a little better. But yeah, no. I, I, sorry, I meant it overall. Fair but, enough. You yeah. know what I'm. 
Ray was better, but I think I enjoyed the good dinosaur more. It's better than this piece of shit. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like, I don't know. Like, to me, it's like, we just had Star Trek come out the same weekend. Go see that instead. Like, your kids will like that movie. It's got spaceship shit blows up. And if you're worried a about... A rockin' fucking soundtrack. If you're worried about sexy stuff, they actually don't have any of this. It's pretty tame. <laughs> it's literally just action. Oh, my God. I totally didn't even... I totally forgot about that. Yeah. So, so like, you pointed that... We pointed that out last time, and I completely yeah. forgot. Yeah, it's like, of like, all the new Star Trek movies, that one's actually the one that doesn't objectify anybody. How the hell does just... How the hell does the director of the Fast and the Furious movies not do that? Right? <laughs> it's a new trend. I mean, J.J. Abrams quit that habit when he did Star Wars, too, to be fair. Well, in all fairness, Star Wars only did it once, I think. But it was pretty iconic use of objectification. <laughs> yeah, but there was actually a point to it. True. And as I mentioned, all the Twi'lek dancers. Yeah. That's still pretty much canon in every Star Wars game or book or TV show you ever watch. Yeah, that's true. So, anyway. Yeah. Uh, anyway, don't watch this movie. <laughs> yeah, like, it's, like, it's going to be a really short review because I really just don't have a lot of fucking things to say about it. I'm not mad enough that I can go on a long rant about it, but I'm also just... Blah. Like, I just, I guess, honestly, like, it boils down to, blah, I don't care. I didn't even care enough to put on pants today. I'm wearing sweats. <laughs> like, that's how... What the fuck? <laughs> You didn't notice that? No, I didn't! <laughs> That's how little I cared about seeing this. I was like, ah, do I want to put on pants? Uh, fuck it. It's one of those days. And we're just going to wear our jeans. We're just going to wear sweats. That's all that's going to happen. I don't care. I'm not, in the, I'm not in the area to prove anything to anybody. <laughs> I'm buying a ticket to go see the fucking ice, newest Ice Age movie. Um, or better yet, just go see Secret Life of Pets. That's still in theaters. That's pretty solid. Yeah, it's, it's a better format. kids movie than this. Agreed. Uh, Blue Sky is just seriously just trying to milk whatever they can out of this thing. Like really, yeah. Because like every other attempt they made in a franchise is tanked. Because Epic. I'm hoping too. for. I'm hoping for Peanuts though. That's true. They did do Peanuts. That was like their one good movie. Uh, in, like some long time. Yeah. Like the only ones I've enjoyed were Rio was okay was passable. Uh, the first one was passable. The second one wasn't. That's what I've been told. Although the uh, villain was kind of fun in that movie. <laughs> uh, obviously, yeah, first Ice Age and Peanuts. Yeah, that's it. Because I know they tried Epic, which sucked. I've never seen that movie. Honestly, I don't remember much about it, except that uh, Christoph Waltz played the villain. Oh, and it had uh, Pitbull in there back when he was popular. And had the line, oh, look, it's the pooper of parties. And by the way, the sheer amount of shit jokes in this movie. Ha! He almost licked a turd. It's funny because it's poo. Let's go on to trailers. <laughs> <laughs> Just so sad and defeated. <laughs> so, does it gotta wrap this up so I can you can buy me my dinner? <laughs> Pretty much. I just want a burger right now. I do too, actually. Uh, so, first trailer I got was for... Oh, God. Uh, is this a January movie? Yeah. Because it feels like a January movie. Monster truck? Where, basically, it involves the tentacle monster from Episode 7 possessing trucks. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of always forget the monster in Episode 7. Uh, Where it basically kills the entire cast of the raid. <laughs> Oh god, that fuck that movie looks fucking weird. <laughs> like that, that looks like a cynical cash grab to sell toys. Yeah, it really does. Like that's all I can say. It's like this looks like now it's your local Toys R Us. Like I half expect to see that pop up on the screen. Yeah, it's like when they when they eventually release the Hot Wheels movie, which I know is coming. Yep, that hurt. What the hell did you? Stop trying to inadvertently kill yourself, Grant. I need you to go see bad movies like this. You got Matt for that. <laughs> True, but he's busy. <laughs> At least today. Actually, I didn't ask him. You were, you were the first one to reply to my message, so. You volunteered, <laughs> sir. You volunteered as tribute. Yeah, but I expected a decent movie, not... You saw Star Trek earlier this week. You gotta balance it out. Really good movie, shitty movie. You know, balance the scales. 
Yeah, no, it was balanced because remember, I saw Ghostbusters that week. That was your own goddamn choice. You can't hold me responsible for that fucking shit. I told you 20 <laughs> times, don't go see that fucking movie, and you blatantly ignored me. You do not get to hold me accountable for that. <laughs> On the bright side, though, I got a fancy little pin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yippee-ki-yay, yeah, you got a fancy fucking pin. I told you explicitly. Yeah. Sorry. Well, you know what? That's what you get. <laughs> I'm going to infect that fucking hand wound of yours. <laughs> you ever get a Ventolin inhaler in your eye? <laughs> do that and I'll sue you. I have video evidence. <laughs> Beep! <laughs> <laughs> so what? That's the man, sir. Wait, where is he? Oh, fuck. All right. All right. Someone get someone to scream. <laughs> there he is. I heard him. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize that high pitched girl scream anywhere. Ah, uh, <laughs> by the way, can't hide from me, you son of a bitch. Jokes on you, I'm in my Clint Eastwood mode. Ah, I still know it's you. <laughs> of all my friends, no one has quite a distinctive grunt or scream as you do. <sighs> Dude, you milk that shit. What are you groaning for? I'm just playing into it. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> I was gonna say, what are you complaining for? You actively promote that image of yourself. Damn Skippy. <laughs> but anyway, like, cause I can't talk at all about promoting somebody's self-image. <laughs> when my name's plastered on everything. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, like, you, yeah, you just look at me. You are such a narcissist. <laughs> this is like your logo pops up everywhere. <laughs> Ron, I need my logo everywhere. Get on it. <laughs> Hey, honest cheer this guy. I've known you for like five seconds, but you can say my name in front of a camera. <laughs> Who's that random woman, by the way? I think she's someone else on Screen Junkies. Uh, oh, okay. Because there were like a whole bunch of them in that little area. Okay. Uh, but he was the only one I recognized. But someone recognized the other ones because he got a picture of them. Like, I have no idea who you guys are. Uh, <laughs> Actually, I think that... You know what? I think I do recognize her. I think she auditioned for something I was trying to do. Oh, or she's cool. uh, sent in for one. That'd be cool. Yeah. Cool coincidence. Yeah. Uh, but I think she's like mostly... Oh, wait, no. I'm thinking of Smosh games. Never mind. Thank you. Mm. Anywho. Uh, but, yeah. So, trailers. What were we talking about? Uh, trailers. Oh, yeah. Monster Truck. And then we got the wildlife trailer again, which is like... I forgot this was based on a book until somebody reminded me. And I'm kind of like, oh, yeah. That's a thing that existed. We're so sorry, author of Robinson Caruso. I'm sure this is totally what you imagined. I can't wait for his adaptation of Moby Dick. Oh, then my great 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 cousin will be rolling in his grave. <laughs> Was your great 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 cousin Herman Melville? Yes. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, I hated that book, but nice. <laughs> a lot of people did. I there's a whole chapter on the color white. Literally a whole chapter. It has nothing to do with anything. And you know, and I, I found this out years later. He only did that just because he, he got paid by the letter. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh no, it's symbolism for white hot rage. <laughs> <laughs> or corporate greed. <laughs> because it's run by white people. <laughs> Sir, you know what you are, right? It's supposed to be a black whale. No, the whale is white! Why? Because I am white. Everything must be white. <laughs> Next trailer. <laughs> We did not get a lot of good trailers. No, and then we got Sane, which we've talked about through a thousand times. Which one? Oh, That's yeah. Sane. Oh, so who's playing the father of um, Kingsman Kid? Slash Eddie the Eagle. Oh, yeah, because I found out it wasn't Idris Elba, because I got a comment on that the last time I brought up. I said, That's not Idris Elba, you racist. <laughs> it's not my fault he sounded like Idris Elba. And I was like, how's that make you racist? I recognized a voice. Leave me alone. Yeah. Uh, I'll look it up now, but I don't. It's some name I couldn't pronounce. Uh, but while I looked that up, uh, yeah, that's another movie with Ron Swanson in it, which I'm kind of like, oh, I'm going to be disappointed by you in this one too, Nick. I'm Nicole. still weirded out that Matthew McConaughey does not sound like Matthew McConaughey. I can kind of hear it a little bit now. No, I do too, but it's just like, when, at that first listen, it's just like. That does not sound like Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. So. His American accent is getting better, I'll give him that much. Uh, yep. Or like his non... whatever. Yeah. You know what i He is American! And like, not cuspy Western American. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can't I find the your, info on here, but I'll look it up later. I uh, know that's the movie does have Seth MacFarlane in it, which I kept be like, is that? Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> but, uh, but anywho. Wait, were you gonna say something? I'm saying you could also look it up on IMDb. Okay, there you go while you're doing that. Uh, but anyway, so that looks like another movie I have to go see. Uh, 
And then we got Storks, which I, like I said, it's kind of the wild card of the year, but I do kind of want to see it. <laughs> Just cause of power move and the penguins. I don't know, the wolf kind of gave me yeah. a good chuckle here and there too. Like it looks like that has some funny elements to it. It's like, okay, it's my it's my make for a pow, a passable movie. And it's been a while since I've seen Kelsey Grammer in anything, so I'm down for that. Yeah. Uh, last time I saw him was anything was I think uh, what was that TV show he did that lasted for like two seasons, The Boss or something like that. I just suddenly forgot which actor we were just talking about. Kelsey Grammer. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Um, or it's like he's the mayor yeah. of Chicago or something. Yeah. That's, I think you're right, I think that is the one. That, where he was really the only good part about that show after the first season ended, because all the other characters are despicable assholes, and you hate every single one of them. Yeah. Uh, oh, I think I know who it was. It was uh, Peter Sorek. Yeah, that, that guy. That, he sounds like he's a uh, show, but go figure. Uh, Pe- oh, that guy! Yeah. What a bunch of a-holes. Yep, that guy. Uh, and oh, then we got... He was Pete. <laughs> and then we got the trailer for Trolls, which... Um, yeah, that looks like another movie I gotta go see. I mean, like, I'm hoping to be pleasantly surprised because I have been a lot by DreamWorks movie in the past. Yeah. But at the same time, they also made Home, which was as cynical as a anime movie they've ever made. Also one of the most successful, which was very disappointing. Yeah. So it's entirely possible it's continuing that trend of, well, we don't have to try as hard. Uh, but I did like the, I did think it's like some of the animation stuff they're doing is kind of clever. Yeah. Everything's kind of like almost like craft book materials. It's like, yeah. okay, I thought it was kind of an interesting <laughs> touch. Uh, and then we got British X Men. Which one? The home of peculiar children. Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> the one that uh, freaking what's his name's doing? Uh, Tim Burton. Yeah. I mean, it has uh, Evergreen. Yeah. And I love Evergreen. She. Yeah, even she makes like the terrible stuff actually kind of fun. Oh my god, she made she made Sin City too. And from what you've told me, three hundred. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy angry fuck sex. <laughs> that happens in three hundred too. Was that really a good thing to shout with the windows open? <laughs> they were paying attention. <laughs> Let's roll the windows up, shall we? <laughs> All right. Crazy angry fuck sex. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the worst thing I've shouted with the windows down in this car. Yeah, but when you got children next to us. Well, it, it doesn't top that one time when I said, like, I believe in white supremacism or whatever. Or, or something like that. So, because, excuse me. Oh, hi. Oh, uh, yes! <laughs> no, no, it wasn't white. It was, it, was, it was about white supremacists, but I didn't say white supremacism. I said, uh, I endorse mass genocide. That's what I said. <laughs> Somehow doesn't make it a whole lot better. <laughs> yeah, my God, that's what we were seeing. <laughs> Fucking cheaper too. <laughs> that wasn't Muck- that was earlier this year. That wasn't Mockingjay. Huh? That wasn't Mockingjay. Which one was it? Uh, it was a movie we saw earlier this year. Because um, it was at Oak Ridge. I'm pretty sure it was. It, it was at Oak Ridge, but it wasn't for Mockingjay. Because hmm. I know this ha- this happened after our green room review. Oh yeah. If you know which one it was, look it up in the comments. Uh, let me know in the comments because I'm gonna be curious and it's gonna bug me. Uh, and when what? That that's a quiz answer for you. In what episode did Michael endorse mass genocide? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, how have I not gotten sued by this point? In like <laughs> my YouTube career, I will never know. Because no one's watching. Oh, <laughs> well, we got some people. I mean, we, we did get the guy who made our. Uh, channel art banner just yesterday and the fanfic person and the fanfic person both are very lovely people i've talked with both of them they're very nice i'm sure uh, by the way uh while i'm on the topic uh shout out to rc uh rc entertainment who have made our channel art for us uh their brand new youtube channel can you use your support go check them out uh i think you could find them under rc entertainment 007 so look that up uh support them and if you're watching right now yeah you're you're welcome <laughs> uh yeah, I don't remember which movie it was. We we said that in, but I know it was after the green room review. But anyway, we'll talk about that later. Uh, and then, I think that was it. Yeah. So we didn't actually say what we thought about the uh, British X Men movie. Oh no, we didn't. We were just we got sidetracked. Yeah, by Evergreen with <laughs> angry fucking uh, angry Sparta fuck sex, uh, which you know is redundant as hell, but it's fun to say. 
Oh god. Just angry sword wielding. Like they just start fighting and all of a sudden they just start fucking. <laughs> like it's, it's, it's kind of magical. It, that magic was needed in the killing joke. <laughs> <laughs> if Could you imagine if Ava Green was voicing Batgirl? <laughs> that would have made it some kind of weird, but magical. No, Eva Green is Harley Quinn. Fuck yeah. I'm, I am want this to happen so badly now. Uh, David Ayer, can you retroactively refilm a lot of that stuff? For yes, Eva Green with Jared Leto. Match made in fucking heaven. Oh my god! <laughs> I want to see this! Right? <laughs> the only problem with that, like, maybe get her Poison Ivy, though, because I feel like she'd, like she'd overpower the Joker, honestly. <laughs> I could see that, actually, as well. Dream casting, Eva Green is Poison Ivy. That would actually be fucking perfect. Yep. Dear Lord, I actually started to start watching Penny Dreadful not too long ago. That being uh, said, though, it'd be kind of weird to see her with red, hit, with red hair. I can see her pulling it off. We'll see. <laughs> I'll be so down. So down. <laughs> she, she, no one plays crazy bitch like Eva Green, and she does it so, like, effortlessly. It's amazing. <laughs> She made both Sin City and 302 watchable. Yeah. <laughs> like, every other part that did not have Eva Green in Sin City 2 sucked. As soon as he was on screen, just hypnotizing. Well, magnetic. But Well, I think actually the first thing where just, like, uh, Marv was kind of like, where the hell am I? Oh, yeah. That whole short, that was actually pretty decent. Oh, yeah, but I'd, I, every moment I remember from that movie it all had Eva Green in it. Yeah. I remember everything, and I just remember the stuff that ironically wasn't done by Frank Miller sucked. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I thought everything that was done by Frank Miller, like this new yeah, the stuff right. done by Frank Miller, my current day Frank Sorry. Miller sucks. Sorry, yes, thank you, thank you for the correction. Everything like, done by current day Frank Miller sucks because Frank Miller lost his mind years ago and hasn't made a good thing since. I well, saw I the spirit. Oh, uh, I heard the newest Batman or Dark Knight. Yeah, it's because of Brian Azzarello though. Who should stick with writing comics? <laughs> Yeah, he could be a bit of a dick. <laughs> uh, there's someone I can mention in this review, but I don't think he'd want me to bring it up <laughs> without, oh, without yeah. his consent. So I'm going to leave that blank for now. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so yeah, you got any final thoughts for Ice Age Collision Course? No. If you're really that desperate to entertain your kids, you, there's better things in theaters right now you can go take them to. Like, literally anything but this. Most everything but this. Mm. I feel like there's one really bad thing out there that's somehow even worse, and I just suddenly can't think of it. Bad moms? Well, obviously that's not kid-friendly, but that's kind of mm. besides the point. Well, uh, we don't know how good or bad that one actually is, so we can't really judge until we see it. Yeah, that'll be next week. So, uh, tune in for that, guys. Yeah, based and on stuff I'm hearing, next week's not going to be quite as good as we'd hoped. No. Yeah, well, Jason, I heard Jason Board's kind of meh. Exactly. Which is fine. Yeah. Better than, no, oh, this piece of shit. Uh, but I know if Ron wants to see that one, so maybe we'll see if we can sneak him in there. I only got like yeah. two free nights available next week. I take about one free night because I might have something going on Wednesday night, mm. uh, which is very important and is can't be rescheduled because I don't want to. Uh, right. I'll tell you later. Anyway, so I think that's all we got, guys. So thank you all, <clears throat> thank you all for watching, and see you all next time. Bye. No.